Well, recently, 50 and Lil' Kim went back and forth. But what's interesting about this particular situation is I don't think people remember how all this started. Yeah. I, and, I, and you were actually there. I kind of I kind of stay out of that, you know what I mean? Because, you know, like, 50 is, is just crazy. You know what I mean? You know, 50 is just a crazy guy. He's going to say whatever's on his mind. You know what I mean? He's just a crazy guy. And okay. people just got to realize that. Uh, okay. Well, let me, let me just put this out there. You don't have to comment on it. Look, 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 look. No, let me tell you. 50 okay. is just, he's just crazy. He been like, like when we was on a block back in the days, like mm -hmm. say we on a block and I'm out there and say like, say uh, Kev Brock, God bless the dead, Mutt, um, a nigga named Ken Do. Say, say them niggas out there. Niggas would be like, oh man, hear this nigga come. So it's like, I'm used to whatever he do and I'm always gonna ride with him because that's who I came in the game with. Because I realized ain't no friends in this business. So it's like, Little Kim, yeah, she's a legend. But whatever Fifth say, I mean, it is what it is. I, I, you know, I don't want to talk on his behalf or nothing. Well, but I, I will but all I can say is, the nigga's crazy. Right. You so, know what I'm saying? That's so it. Me... Look, look, that's all I'm going to say about okay. that. I don't want to talk about that. Okay, so I can't even put, put out there what I was going to say? No, nah, I don't even. Let's go All right, fine. Shit. Fair enough. I hope the two of them work it out. They're both legends in this game. And, and I actually said, you know, one thing I said on Twitter recently was that Lil Kim was one of these rare female artists I mean, yo, that, yo, that yo, dudes, look, dudes would listen the, to her as well. At the end of the day, look, Lil Kim was fucking with one of the realest gangsters in Brooklyn, right? World, right? Yeah. Was 50 scared? Well, where the fuck you go? There that's you what go. I'm trying to tell you, the difference between us and these other niggas. I don't come here, I don't glorify nothing. That's what I told Hoffa on the show. I don't glorify nothing. I made my bed, I lay in it. I done been banned from MTV. Yo, yeah, you got hot in the back. Yo, all right, Chris Light, hide in the back. Rest in peace, Chris Lighty. I, I, 50, I, yo, yo, let, yo, 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 lay your high in the back. MTV don't want me here. Yeah. They I, got me for slapping a kid. Slapping who? Jimmy Hitchman's son. Oh, yeah. You know, I ain't, I don't even want to go into that. But listen, at the end of the day, I done been banned from everything in the industry. It's cool. Like, people always want to blame us as the bad guys of hip-hop. Y'all messed up New York radio. Y'all glorified violence. When violence was in hip-hop, you know what I told them on Hoffa Show? The last... Positive song, the biggest song in hip hop. Don't, cause I know about hip hop. Niggas don't even give Ralph McFucking Daniels his flowers. Like he wasn't BET or MTV before it fucking happened. Facts. And I'm gonna repeat that again. They don't give, nobody gives Ralph McDaniels his flowers. He's the fucking real pillar behind all this shit. Cause when we was little kids, we fucking went to Video Music Box and watched Rakim, Kane, Slick Rick. That's what hip hop is about. Niggas is trying to erase this shit. Mm. Let's keep it real. Those, we we don't have to have no those are the motherfuckers that started that shit. Where do you what's it why you don't interview interview Ralph McDaniels? I have. Interview him again. Okay. <laughs> I have interviewed Cause Ralph Because he's McDaniels, the fucking bro. fucking portal to fucking hip hop, bro. He's the gateway to hip hop. As a kid, we had fucking Nintendo, karate, and video music box. Mm -hmm. Shout out to uh Fat Five, Five Freddy also. For sure, Fat Five That was Freddy. the first national- MTV Raps. Yeah, yo, the, but the before that MTV Raps. was Video Music Box. Correct, correct. When you seen MC Light on the train with the two Jettas, come on, bro, I'm a hip hop nigga. Niggas asked me who's my favorite group, Run DMC, motherfucker. Like, come on, like, me and my brother, my, my parents, we, you know, back in the days, you get jacked for a boom box. So we had to, me and my brother had to share everything. We had the, the double cassette shit. And we, my, my parents would get us no battery, so we on the porch. We would play Run DMC, plug it up. Haitian parents, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my Haitians. And we, and we played that shit till the tape pop, Run DMC. 